the formidable robot. I just recently had a nightmare. This nightmare gave me memories of a tape. This one tape I remember my mother told me never to touch. One time I actually did, and I really regretted it. I can't begin to detail the weird obscurities that were on that tape. I remember that it was blank for about 5 minutes until a chilling face appeared and said something in an eerily calm voice. Since I was so young, it is pretty hard to remember exactly what it was saying. I can assume it was something scary because I remember running out of the room and away from the television afterwards. I continuously had nightmares for days afterwards, depicting the face saying those words over and over again. As I have previously mentioned, I have had that same dream very recently. It wasn't as scary as it was then, but it still brought back bad memories. With my memory more developed, I know now the words of this face, rewind. Based on what I remember, I kept doing this, but the voice only got less light, and more aggressive. I did it again, the voice became angered. Again, the voice became demanding. Once more, the voice stopped. He just stared for ages and ages. He wouldn't stop staring. I recall trying to eject the tape, only to have the machine break down. I threw the video player across the room in an attempt to destroy it. After smashing the thing into pieces, I looked back at the television to see something completely impossible for that time. The face now glared out of the television in a stereoscopic manner. I was completely terrified. 3D view was new around at that time, but you had to wear those two color glasses for it to work. I was lacking any sort of accessory, just my own eyes. Staring into the face of the television, I leapt at the television to hit it and the screen just imploded into a gaping hole. This would only make things worse. The face was still there, and it was smiling at me. What a smile it was, so mischievous. I ran out of the room and closed the door. I stayed outside the door for a few seconds, I looked back inside. The face was gone. But now, I had a peculiar headache. That night, I had those nightmares of the face. It just said the words rewind over and over. To this day, my mind is still tarnished with the horrors of the past. Whatever the case, if your parent ever tells you never to touch a tape, don't ignore them. Or you will be cursed with memories that would keep you up at night until you faint. That's where the face will be waiting, in your sleep. <laughs>